Welcome back, and we're going to continue on with setting up Backyard EOS. So I actually haven't got my camera plugged in, so I'm not going to worry about that for now. We are able to configure everything offline. So if we hit the settings button, I mean, this is basically a carbon copy of what I had done previously. So if we go to subfolders, I had, that actually looks like a setting I missed on my previous video. So I'll have to go back and fix that. Filter list, I just use a light pollution filter. I do have an HA filter, but with using a, a DSLR, I very rarely use it. It seems a bit of a waste given the Bayer matrix that we have on the DSLR world. So let's change this to be on my spinny disk rather than on the solid state drive. So we want to create a folder called plans inside Backyard EOS. Again, I said this in my last video, I don't really use plans, but sure, it takes no time just to get it, get it set to be in the right place. Saves me trying to figure out where it is later on. So this we will call then make new folder, and we're going to call this back, Backyard Temp. Okay, PhD again, and we will bring the aggressiveness up to four. The rest of these settings look fine as I did before. I'm just going to run a quick test to make sure that we can connect to it. So if we, if we bring this down, let you see this free window up here as well, it should pop up. So we run a test, and that shows that it was connected, no problem. A new connection over here, that's good. Um, all of these settings are the same. Again, so this one with the Canon, we seem to have a low battery alarm. I run on AC generally, so I don't need to worry about that. We will enable the server so that Astro Tortilla can talk to it. And I believe that is everything set up. Thanks for watching the video. That's everything.